Hello everyone, welcome again. So, we continue with our research series, this being the second part. And in this part, we're going to focus on frequent separation. It's a technique that a lot of people use uh, in their retouch um, process. And the basic idea behind this is that you separate your texture layer from your color layer. And you kind of edit them differently. Uh, so, let's get to it. Alright, so we ended up here. Again, we'll just go and... As usual, we'll open this with uh, Affinity Photo. Uh, for those that are using Photoshop, go ahead and reopen this with Photoshop. So we ended up with just two layers. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to duplicate this layer. Right. And then using a, a predefined sort of a macro or an action, uh, Affinity Photo's people have been kind enough to just include one for us. This is where... Uh, uh, the high frequency layer uh, contains all the texture. The low frequency layer contains the, the colors. So I'm going to increase the radius until I see on the color layer there is no texture. It's very, very blurry. So around 2, maybe 2.2, somewhere there about, I think I'll be okay. Then I say okay. So what happens, this creates two layers. So I'll switch this lower layers off. If I remove the lower frequencies, you just see the texture of the image, right? And if I remove the texture, you just see the color of the image. So here we'll just deal with the color when we deal with the low frequency layer. While as we deal with the high frequency layer, we'll only uh, edit the texture, right? So let's bring everything back, okay? And when you, literally when you have both of these layers visible, it's just the same thing as our blemish removal. So for organization purposes, I usually group this, right? Put them in a group, right? And we call this group frequent separation, right? So these two layers are here. Now, I then duplicate the lower layer, right? Um, we duplicate it. I just prefer to have a duplicate. So just in case I need to go back, I have that layer somewhere there, all right? Now, the most important thing I'm going to fix down here is you see there's a little blotch here. I'm not sure if it's makeup or there's something going on there. So I want to fix this color first and then I'll move on to another color. So I'll still use the same, the same thing, healing brush. And here I will lower my, uh, my flow much, much lower as well as the hardness, right? Um, and I will pick a color. Remember here, we're only dealing with color, so I'm not that worried that much about the texture. I just want the color to look as other places, right? So as you can see, it's not copying the, the color, the texture, it's only copying the color. So that's, that's all I'm interested in for now. I'll find another source down here, so I can just fix the color. Right, just fix the color. So let's go on, off. I'm not sure if you can see it. Just fixing a little bit of that color, make sure the color is all the same, right? So like I said here, my focus, my main focus is just the color. Right, again, on, right? So I just wanted to fix that color a little bit, just to make it blend in a little bit, right? So you can go, you can do this as, as, as much as you want. Right. Then the next thing is I'll go to texture, which is uh, your high frequency layer, and see is, is there something I need to fix? Um, uh, not really. I don't see. Again, I prefer not to over retouch so that the person still looks a little bit natural. Right. But then, so this is almost like blemish removal, but you go and and just fine tune areas that you still think they need. Uh, a bit of touching, right? Uh, I'm usually, once I do blemish removal, I don't do that much work here, okay? Usually, if somebody has, uh, like, those little pockets here, I usually fix that. Um, with, so then, the next thing I do is I then um, blend. Uh, so a lot of people use Gaussian Blur. 
but I use Medium. Uh, the reason why I stopped using Gaussian Blur is that it introduces on the edges, it makes the edges more blurry and I didn't like that. So uh, for that tool, I'm going to use uh, your uh, freehand selection. So what I'll do is I'll select the areas um, where I want to apply that, that blur effect but make sure again you're you've selected the low frequency layer not the high frequency layer all right because you do not want to blur the high frequency layer because that's where the, your texture is right so we'll go here quickly and then we'll do select so i usually start with the forehead right try and be as accurate as possible and uh, it doesn't have to be super super the more accurate you are the better it is, right? I avoid all areas that have items that have high texture, like your eyebrows, all right? And then here, I'll just go to filter, blur, and median blur, right? So here, if you overdo it, you completely obliterate the texture, but you need to do just subtle. Just subtle, this is nothing. So you go until it's just, just enough. Not too much, maybe four, five, six, somewhere there. And then I'll apply, okay? So once that has been applied, I'll then simply go throughout the image doing the same thing, but selecting areas that almost look the same. Right there, I'll deal with that part on its own. As you can see, I'm avoiding all areas that have high, uh, like have high texture, okay? So since we've done once before, we'll simply go to um, filter, redo that. So after here, I'll just use uh, uh, Command F to make my life simple, right? So I will do pretty much the same thing throughout the image. So I'll fast forward this again, because it's just the same. And if you feel like the area needs to have that more of that effect, just do it more than once, all right? All right, so I'll just go ahead and do this for the whole image. And then I'll come back when everything is done. Right, and we're back. So that's what we've done so far. Now, um, so it kind of looks good. So let's see where we came from. Where we came from here. Let me zoom in a little bit more. And now we are here. As you can see, the skin is sort of all blended and even the highlights are all falling in place, all right? Now, since there's nothing else to do on the texture area, now this is where my secret sauce comes in. I usually take the high frequency layer and also duplicate it, right? I'll duplicate it. Um, oh, sorry, not delete it. Duplicate it, right? So that over adds the texture on the image. So what I then do is I take this new layer that I've created and reduce it to like 20%, okay? So that adds, improves the texture makes it almost look natural, but also already there's that retouch factor. But again, here you can decide, you can either go up or you can go down. So I've just gotten used to use somewhere between 20 and 25%, depending on, on, on what exactly I'm editing and the skin texture. But 20 for me, it's, it's my, my sweet spot, all right? So what have we done this time? 
uh, we have done frequent separation. We separated the colors from the texture and we added them differently. The first thing we did was to improve all areas that have different colors, sort of get them to, to, to blend and look the same. And then we went around and used uh, median uh, blurring uh, to just get the skin to be smooth and also to fix a few hot spots in terms of light. Um, yes, so apart from that, so today we've now added frequent separation. Um, so let's look where we've been, right? So we'll zoom in a little bit there so we can see. So this was our natural uh, image from the camera. Of course, after Capture One did its magic, then we did blemish removal, and now we've done frequent separation, right? So that's where we are. So we'll save this again. Remember, it's already saving with layers, and this will be sent back to Capture One. Let's just wait a bit. You'll see the difference once it finished saving. Wait for it. Wait for it. I think it's time I get a new PC. Really, really, it's time I get a new PC. But this still works. So. Right, I think it has updated. Yes, it has. All right. So we are. We're done, I think, for the frequent separation, the second part that we're done. So until we meet again, let's keep retouching. Let's keep retouching. <laughs>